Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's episode is gonna be a short one. I wanna dive into Forescan, um, see what kind of trouble codes I have, hopefully clear all of them, but we'll see what comes back. Hopefully the airbag light goes out as well. Before I get into that, however, there's one thing I've wanted to do since I bought this car. Actually, there's two things. One was driving it, and I did that in the last episode. So if you haven't watched it, go back and check it out. I'm gonna link it in the description. But the other thing is actually cleaning this car because this thing is filthy. It sat in a junkyard for several months, um, and it's very dirty. So first thing is I'm gonna pull this out, and uh, I'm gonna clean it. So let's get to it. Quick wash, she's looking a lot better. Uh, the, the grass was caked onto the body. I think what was happening was sitting out in the field and people would just um, cut the grass around it. But it was basically caked onto the paint. Took a while to get off, but uh, she's looking a lot better. Obviously not ideal. I'll want to clay bar. And also cleaning in a uh, direct sunlight is uh, also not ideal, but she's looking a lot better. I'm very happy with that. Now let's scan the car and see what faults we get. By the way, it's not a new day. Uh, this is my third shirt of the day. It's that humid and hot. So um, I want to thank my buddy Steve. He lent me this um, Forescan adapter. Uh, this is not the official one, but it does work just fine. And um, you can get these on eBay for pretty cheap. Now, for those that don't know, um, Forescan is a Ford diagnostics tool. It is open source, but you have to buy the adapter. Um, it only runs on Windows. I'm on a Mac. However, I'm running it through virtual box and uh, it allows me to um, to set this up so let's see what we've got here oh, I need to start the car so you got to make sure that at the bottom so here is my adapter and uh, okay oh, let's close the door I won't shut up Okay, so found the adapter. Unable to connect the vehicle. Please make sure ignition. Try again. Try again. Try this again. Ignition on. Uh, I think I have to go down here to connect. Unable to connect the vehicle. Please make sure ignition key is on and try again. It is on. Let's try it again. Oh, oh, maybe. There's a little toggle on the adapter and it needs to be on the high speed. HS, I'm assuming it's for high speed. There we go. Found my Fiesta, powertrain. Found module. Reading vehicle info. So I think all I really need to do is go to this DTC tab. Can I extend this? Nope. Nope. And, oh, there we go. Oh boy.
Oh great, so I have one module with no code so far. <laughs> That's wonderful. ABS, RCM, oh my god, a lot of codes. WD2, PCM. May contain MS module. Yes. Please set to MS toggle switch. Hit OK. I'm assuming it's going to read more modules. Codes in the HVAC. Oh my god, there's codes everywhere. Can I start? Okay. Intake air temperature sensors. Circuit high. Yes. Okay. Let's go through these. So, intake air temperature sensor high. Evap. Yeah, that was broken. That's fixed. Fan control. Okay. Hopefully that's fixed. Torque calculation. Okay. Cylinder head over temperature protection active. Air leak. So we know about that. That was broken. Engine coolant level low. Okay, that should be good. Intake temperature sensor. That's the same one. Evac. Okay, that was fixed. Okay, so that's the same as before. External memory card. Previously set. Okay. Circuit voltage, battery voltage. Okay, so it had a low battery. Battery voltage, none, okay. Invalid data received. Malfunction indicator lamp is off. Okay, so I don't have any headlights. Invalid data received from restraint control module. anti like braking system, battery voltage, battery voltage. Driver frontal restraint sensor. Pasture, okay. Battery voltage. So there's a lot of battery voltage that those should clear out. Ambient temperature sensor, open short. Warning lamp, short. Ignition input on. Control module. System voltage, so that left turn indicator, right turn indicator. Low beam, okay, so we know the lights are bad. Voltage, okay. So I believe I can clear, reset DTC, clear lock, reset DTC. Okay, set to high speed, click okay. Please cycle ignition on, off, and then back on. So off. Back on. Okay. All right, so that's looking a lot better. So code for the RCM, driver, driver frontal restraint sensor. Passenger frontal restraint sensor. I'm wondering if those are the uh, airbag sensors that I replaced. But I replaced with used one, so maybe ambient temperature sensor circuit open. Okay. Left low beam, that's fine. Right low beam, that's fine. Okay. Well, things are looking a lot better. Okay, so after a quick uh, look up on the internet, it is my uh, airbag sensors. Now, I replaced these sensors with some from the junkyard, and I couldn't tell if the car was in an accident or not. So it's quite possible that these are damaged. Now, what I did was, I did have one good original one and the passenger side was very, very uh, badly damaged. So I plugged the original one in on this side, rescanned the video, uh, the rescan the car and only one is coming up now. So the same ambient temperature and the headlights, but I only have one RCM code and it's for the passenger. So I know one of them is good, Obviously the two used ones that I bought are bad, so I will replace the one for a brand new one. And after that, I should be good to go for uh, that light. So I'm gonna call Ford uh, in the morning and order up a new one. The last thing I'm gonna do is take a quick drive and uh, just see if the uh, check engine light comes back on. Damn you. 
All right, so I've been driving for a bit and there's no check engine light, so that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Uh, I'm gonna get a sensor tomorrow and uh, hopefully that takes care of it. The next day. All right, I've got my new sensor uh, directly from Ford and uh, I'm not quite sure. I don't think the ones I got from the junkyard are faulty. They're just from an older vehicle. I think they're from a 2013. Uh, I had hoped that they would work. I, it's qu quite possible they're not compatible. As you can see, there's a, a big uh, size difference between the two. But before I ordered this one, um, I swapped over the good one onto the passenger side and rescanned the vehicle. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't a wiring issue. Um, and basically the passenger side came out good and the driver's side was bad. So I know that the uh, wiring is good. It's really just the, uh, the sensor. So I got my new one from Ford. Expensive little piece for what they are, but um, at least I won't get the, uh, the airbag light. Um, so I'm gonna install that. Now I did manage uh, within the wreckage, all the broken plastic, I did find the ambient temperature sensor. Um, that was a fault that I have because obviously I don't have one. Now the connector is pretty damaged. However, the two prongs are still there. I'm gonna connect this and see if this works. This is supposed to go on a plastic piece. Uh, actually, I have it here, which I did order at the same time. Um, it should go something like this and is attached uh, right here. Anyways, so I'm gonna attach this. Hopefully that clears that code as well. Um, I'm gonna hold off on buying a connector. Ford wants like $70 just for this little connector. So uh, I'm gonna plug this in, hopefully Hopefully that'll work and uh, install this and we'll scan the car again. Let's clear everything. Switch to high speed. off cycle on awesome so there you go no more codes airbag light is off and even the so this is for the headlights which I don't have which is fine um, so even the ambient temperature sensor uh, works. So let's give it a proper startup now. <laughs> there you go. No more lights, no check engine lights, no airbag lights, uh, just the hood, which obviously is expected, but uh, that's great. I think I'm gonna take it out for a quick spin just to make sure nothing comes up. Honestly, it's just an excuse to drive this thing again. Up and down the block. So fucking great. More lights on the dash. This is great. Ooh. So someone commented that this does not sound like a stock blow off valve. So. I haven't looked at it yet, I will. Um, it's possible that it's just because I have no hood, the uh, the sound's just uh, a lot louder, but um, these are comfy seats. Still no check engine light, so that's good. Airbag light. It says it's 32 degrees outside, Celsius, which is accurate. very happy with how well this went uh, nothing major other than a new sensor out front uh, even the ambient temperature sensor was fixed uh, I don't think I'm gonna order a connector for it for the price they're asking it's it's not worth it I'm just going to uh, probably shrink wrap everything together and then put it back on the new plastic once I reassemble everything so now the only other thing uh, in force scan was for the headlights obviously they're not connected speaking of which mine are really damaged I did put an order in for some new headlights uh, I did post about them on my Instagram, so go check it out. 
Uh, and if you're not following me there, uh, make sure you do so because I'm going to be posting stuff as they come in before YouTube. So I have to interrupt this video. It's a couple days later uh, and I took the car out a couple of times uh, up and down the street just to test drive and have fun. Um, and unfortunately a check engine light came back on. It's the P0451, which has to do with the EVAP system. I suspect that the little fix that I did in a previous video uh, isn't holding up. Actually, I'm not quite surprised, but uh, I did put an order in for a new EVAP harness to Ford. That should be in tomorrow. I'm gonna save that for the next video. And uh, also my headlights. If you've looked at my Instagram feed, you'll notice that uh, I ordered some Euro headlights. Those should be in this week, hopefully and uh, maybe I'll be able to show them off in the next video. So stay tuned for that. But for now, let's get back to this video. So this is where I'm gonna end it for today. I know it's a short video. Uh, for those that have stuck around until this point, can you please drop a comment with hashtag Forescan? I would love to know who actually sticks around and uh, watches my videos. Um, also, a lot of you that are watching this aren't subscribed. Take a moment, just hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, and make sure to hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. It only takes a moment, but it's gonna help me tremendously with my channel. Uh, I really appreciate you guys. Thanks for the support. I'll see you on the next one.